Um, we got a daughter now, so things are um, good, you know? When are we going to see you on a cover of NBA 2K? By 20, by 2K27. OK, I like that. Let's do it. Are you ready to go get my My Team card? Let's see how it turned out. Let's go. For those of you who joined us for our inaugural 2K TV Tuesday event, UK Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The Timberwolves were all business as they came through the tunnel, determined to give their fans a reason to celebrate tonight. A stunning look at the sunlit clouds above the 10th Avenue Bridge here in Minneapolis. Welcome, everybody, to another presentation of the NBA Live on 2K Sports. This is Brian Anderson with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. And giving us the rundown from the sidelines, reporter Ali LaForce. Hey, Ali. Thank you, Brian. Bradley Beal, not just a shooter. He's a scorer, and his footwork is a huge part of that. He said, I'm not the tallest player in the world, so I have to find ways to get my shot off, using my quickness, my step backs, and my footwork to be able to get open. Well, Ali, he's put a lot of work into that area of his game. Good stuff there. A moment here to see the numbers for Carl Anthony Towns. And he's taken a small step back offensively. He really hasn't been the same this month as he was earlier on. He's lacking the intensity he had. He needs a new mindset and stop being passive and play with more aggressiveness. Here are the five for the Lakers. We've got Anthony Davis. Bradley Beal's out there with Mikhail Bridges. And it's Henry in at the four. And for the Timberwolves. And we're in the middle of the season, Clark. Some teams that exceeded early expectations are starting to believe. And that confidence is self-perpetuating. Again, you have success. It breeds more success because you have some confidence. And I'll tell you what. It's a pretty good feeling when you prove the doubters wrong as a team. Here's Bailey. There's the drive. Pass to Towns. And the foul on Anthony, Anthony Davis. Davis. That's his first foul. And you hope this early foul doesn't dissuade his aggressiveness. Here's Edwards. Bagley with it. Down to five on the shot clock. To the middle. Here's Towns. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Boy, that sharp awareness of Towns. Clock running out. He just beats him. Bridges outside. Pass to Peterson. Beal outside. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Now off the inbound. And he takes it up and lays it in. His position might be shooting guard, but Beal has no problems taking it inside. We played just over a minute here in the first. No luck on that one. And Los Angeles the other way now. Last time they met in Los Angeles. Last game, their starting lineup struggled to stay on the floor. It just put too much pressure on the bench. They've just got to be more careful tonight. It's that simple. I mean, those guys are too valuable. They need them on the floor. High post Davis. He had a 30-point outing in their last game against Portland. Oh, yeah, he was also sending back shot after shot. <laughs> I think he had four rejections. That changes how your opponent attacks. Hunters checked in for the Lakers. Here's Bailey. He's been an offensive weapon for them, scoring around 17 and a half points a game. Rebounded by the Lakers. They're coming off that loss against Portland. 
You know, in that game, it was just too much disparity in effort level between the two teams, especially on the glass. You know, I think that was the big difference in the game. One team was pounding the glass relentlessly, while the other team, not so much. Here's Edwards after the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. Beal against Bagley. It doesn't go for him. Now the Lakers take it the other way. Down low. Here's Henry. Boom! He jams it straight down. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit time out, time is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. And Minnesota calls time here. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Russell has checked in. Here's Peterson. And right now, he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. Pass to Henry. Now Beal. Three shots, three baskets. Great efficiency so far. You can really feel the momentum swinging in their direction. You know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. Now here's Towns. We saw him with 29 points in his last game. Russell from outside. Hits the trifecta. Well, you look at D'Angelo Russell. He's got a sweet stroke. The lefty can knock it down from three, but always seems to be playing at his pace under good control. <laughs> and D'Angelo Russell, looking at his career, he's slowly becoming a more efficient player, learning his strengths and his limitations. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And for Russell, he's still a volume scorer. But now I think he's better at picking his spots. And you can live with his percentages. I mean, he's improved his shot from the outside. It seems like he's always looking to refine his game. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for the Lakers? They've been making some really nice passes out there. Excellent passing. That could set the tone for the rest of the game. They're showing some muscle here in the first half as well and getting a lot of their points in the paint. First one falls for him. It's both from the stripe. The Lakers in the lead. Here he goes. And then Beal with the dunk. Their offense is looking like a well-oiled machine. Getting any look they want. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. That one goes in. On the front foot, attacking the defense. This is Anthony Edwards at his best. Pass to Bridges. Here's Peterson. Beal outside. And it's off from three-point range. It's stolen by Hunter. Beal outside. Puts up a three. Edwards pulls it in. For Minnesota, they've gone three of six since the tip. And the layup is good. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. For Los Angeles, they've gone seven of nine, a solid percentage so far. Pass to Peterson. Here's Henry. Now here's Beal. And then Beal with the dunk. The consistency of Beal's scoring has been terrific. And of course, his teammates keep working hard to facilitate to him. And that 
one's good. That makes him two for three. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Outside Hunter. Launches it. And Beal with the basket on the assist by Hunter. Beal's got 16 points. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Pass to Hunter. Perfect night so far, two for two. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. You're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Time out, time out. Impressive scoring here. And Minnesota calls time here. Hey, it's been quite a game for Bradley Beal. You know, that defense is helpless right now. I mean, he's got their number, and he knows it. The 2K leaderboard shining a light on the league's best three-point shooting teams of late. The Timberwolves second. These guys have been spacing the floor, spreading out the defense, and getting the three-point shots they want, as opposed to settling for bad ones. Pass to Russell. Collins right side. Back to Russell. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. And you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. Here's Henry. Inside. Here's none. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Wiggins outside. Now here's Wagner. Averaging around five points a game. Russell, that's good. Russell's got seven points. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. It's rebounded by Wagner. The Timberwolves trail. Wiggins for three. And it's Richardson with the rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Here's none. It's rebounded by Wagner. For Minnesota, they've got 8 out of 12 shots to fall. He can't get that one to fall. And Los Angeles the other way now. Outside Richardson. Outside none. Misses the jumper. And that's a low percentage shot, and I'm sure he knows it. Well, you can't be forcing a shot like that. You gotta keep the ball moving. Get something better. Now here's Wiggins. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Off target at the rim. A rare miss for him at point blank range. That's one he'd like to have back. Here's Henry. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. down the first one. And so he makes both from the line. Minnesota has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. And Russell, here we go. And then Russell with the dunk. Big guard, nice handle. D'Angelo can take you a number of ways off the drive. Now a timeout called by the Lakers. Ready 
it's February. Let's see how things look out west. You take a look at the Lakers. A really frustrating season for them. They're looking forward to the draft. And, of course, the Minnesota Timberwolves. And they're right behind them, trying to overtake them if they can. Seeing where the Timberwolves are, they really have failed to deliver this year. Even when they do get a little something going, it never just seems to be enough. And when you talk about inconsistency, I think a lot of it has to go to the players because ultimately they're the ones that dictate how they perform. Back to Thibel. Wiggins outside. Clock at six. Pass to Collins. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. Russell from outside. Got a piece of it. And out of bounds. Los Angeles will have it. Sixth in steals. Tenth in opponent shooting percentage. And in the category of free throw shooting, they're in the top half of the league. I wouldn't call it a strength but they're not giving away too many points at the line. And going back to the Steel's numbers, they've done a great job putting constant pressure on the ball handlers. No one gets to relax when these guys are around. Now here's Hunter. The kick out to Richardson. Pass to Henry. Over to the left wing. Shoots. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Well, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. To the paint. Outside Thibel. Right side, Russell. Over Hunter. The shot by Russell, no good. Los Angeles has gone two of four from distance to begin this one. Outside none. Here's Henry. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. And the call will be against Mo Wagner. That's his first foul and just wasn't able to set up in time. Yeah, and as quick as players are at this level, in this day and age, I mean, you've gotta be perfect in your anticipation to draw the charge. Outside Richardson. Lock and four. To stop the drought. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Wagner's got four rebounds in the game. And Russell, here we go. Here's Collins. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. I love this game plan. That's 10 points in a row from in close. If you can't stop it, here it comes. I'm right at you. Now here's none. 11 points for him last game against the Trailblazers in Portland. No good. A bit long that time. There wasn't much defensive resistance there, guys, but somehow he blew it anyway. Missed opportunity. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. And Wagner gets it to go. And it's now only a one-point Los Angeles lead. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And on the flip side, the defenders the have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. And here's Russell. He's coming off a 13-point game against Philadelphia. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Boy, I like the way Russell used his body there, finishing through contact, and he'll go to the line for a three-point play opportunity. And it's tied up with that one. Boy, really capable of putting up all-star performances. Russell still searching for season-long consistency. But I think he can be a major difference maker. And so it's D'Angelo Russell making things happen for Minnesota. He made a big impact, scoring 12 points in the quarter. Back after this.
And growing up in a sporting family, most of Bradley Beal's brothers chose football. So why did he choose basketball? Ooh, mom said in high school, whoever recruited me first basketball football is what we stuck with. So it was basketball. I like that system, Grant. Pretty simple. Supply and demand. <laughs> That's right. Give the people what they want. And I'd say he found his calling. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Timberwolves? They're off to a rock-solid start. They brought a well-thought-out plan into this one. Yeah, you know what? Makes it really easy for the coaching staff in that case. No adjustments needed. Just keep on keeping on. They've got D'Angelo Russell, Zach Collins out there with Carl Anthony Towns. Then there's Edwards. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the T-Wolves. There's Davis with the three. No good there. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. They're coming off that loss against Philadelphia. It was, frankly, embarrassing. I was shocked by their disorganization, and I think they were too. Yeah, and you know, those losses really hurt when you can't get anything going your way, everything going against you. Very frustrating. Towns for three. Peterson with a rebound. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. And we're seeing teams pick up the pace. Something you set the trend for in Phoenix, Grant. Why do you think that's becoming more prevalent? Great question. I mean, in today's game, we're all about the analytics. And that has shown that you shoot a higher percentage earlier in the shot clock. So it makes sense to push the tempo and see what you can get early. Beal, he's checked in for Richardson. Minnesota shooting an efficient 57% tonight. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Hounded by Beal. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. And for the Lakers, they're shooting a nice 50% for the game. Back to Davis. And Davis slams it home. Boy, you describe AD's games, and you start running out of superlatives. I mean, when this guy is healthy, he dominates in a different fashion, but in similar ways to Tim Duncan. That's tipped. Here's Peterson. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. And at home for the next game, it'll be Charlotte pulling in to face him. Here's Bailey. He's guarded by Bridges. Now Edwards. He's coming off a 13-point game against Philadelphia. And he also dominated the glass out there. He hit the boards hard and often. And then Beal with the dunk. Really good court awareness that time from Anthony Davis. Seeing the floor and making the right decision. And now about three minutes gone in the second quarter here. Pass to Edwards. Out of bounds, it'll be Lakers ball. And a moment to check out who the Los Angeles Lakers have coming up. On Thursday, they'll be playing against Joel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers. Then on Saturday, they'll be playing against Russell Westbrook and the Phoenix Suns. Beal against Edwards. Pass to Davis. Shot, no good. So Minnesota will take it the other way. And you look at Towns, he's been a fantastic outside shooter since coming into the league. Mikhail. It's a hallmark of what makes him so dangerous. He can do it inside, but he's a lethal jump shooter as well. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. No problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. And Minnesota calls time here. And with Towns in his shooting, He's actually the Minnesota franchise leader for made threes. How about that? Took over that record, VA, in 2021. Amazing on several levels, no matter how you look at that stat. The fact he's seven feet and a 
fact he did it so quickly. Mind blown. To the inside. That's good. For the day, he's four for six. Pound showing you a willingness to want to make his teammates better with that pass there. Here's Peterson. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. To the left side wing. Six on the shot clock. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. It's Edwards with a drive. That ties it up. Well, the defense trying to throw Edwards off with some contact, but he smartly stays focused on his shot. Pass to Davis. And here's Beal. Right side Davis. Back to Beal. Uncovered. And he hits the jump shot. Beal's got 20 points. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Going inside. And he gets it to go. He does not lack the confidence. He should. I mean, this guy is a dangerous scorer. To the paint. Here's Davis. That one's in there on the nice assist from Beal. Beal's got three assists in the game. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding pass. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Oh, nothing soft about that. Was not going to be denied. Just took the dunk that was right in front of him. Well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. No shot. Beal outside. Hits a three-pointer. Beal's got seven points here in the quarter. Very consistent tonight at the offensive end. Right there, he helps fuel the fire. Here's Bailey. He takes it in. It's hauled in by Beal. Los Angeles has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Controls the rebound and the putback. And the Lakers lead by five. You know, it's not only his size and strength and athleticism, but Davis's timing is so special. That's why he boards it so well. I just love the aggressive finish. Now, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. None finds Hunter. Wiggins against Beal. It's rebounded by Wagner. Wagner's got rebound number five here tonight. Into the lane. Oh, he goes up high for the two-handed slam. <laughs> I tell you, a little extra pressure on D when you're up against a point guard who can elevate. Ha, it doesn't make it easy, does it? And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. Driving inside, lays it up and banks it in. 16 points for him. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Here's Beal. And then Beal with the Thunder Jam. What an athlete Beal is. These kind of throwdowns get him going as well as his teammates. None defends. The 15-footer. They get it back from behind the arc. It's not going to go for him. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Davis against Bagley. Now here's Beal, guarded closely. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Beal's got 27. Well, you got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter, actually destroying the opponent. Wagner with it, and Davis picks him up defensively. It's Edwards with a drive. The Lakers with a rebound. Nunn's got four rebounds now with the drive. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. 
And, and there's just so much variety to Beal's game. I mean, he's great off the catch and in transition. And right there, making a play off the bounce. First one falls. The offensive game of Bradley Beal is incredible. He scored more than 30 per game over a season. A player you can build your team around for sure. And the Lakers making a change here. Richardson's checked in. And Beal drops them both. The Timberwolves have gotten seven shots out of 14 attempts in the second quarter. Russell from outside. That shot off. And the Lakers going the other way now. And after this one, they're at home against Philadelphia. And that's the first of just two home games for them. Outside none. Pass to Hunter. Davis with it. Richardson with it. 14 points for him last game against the Trailblazers in Portland. And there's the foul. It's on D'Angelo Russell. That's his first foul. And yeah, he, he still was moving at the point of contact. Those are always tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. Outside Hunter. Pass to Henry. Just five to shoot. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. None. No good. Minnesota's gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Now here's Thibel. Guarded by Richardson. Now here's Wagner. Over none. And Wagner gets it to go. Wagner's got his second basket on the night. The Lakers with the ball. It's a five-point game. Pass to Henry. Right side, Davis. Outside, Hunter. And the three off target. The Timberwolves have gotten half their shots to fall in the second. Eight for 16. Outside, Russell. And then Russell with the dunk. How about that dunk? I mean, you don't see that every game, but Russell looks to flush when the chance is there. The kick out to Richardson. 152 left to play in the first half of basketball. Excellent use of his physical gifts. Goes up strong and captures the board. Here's Wiggins. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Just such a terrific dunker. Man, born to fly, that's for sure. Nothing surprising about that, guys. We've come to expect plays like that from him. And still, they never get old. Back to none. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Wagner. The Timberwolves trail. And they're dialed in offensively. Sure are. Staying in attack mode and at the same time playing under control. Here's Collins. And Collins with the slam. <laughs> and when the game is this close, you have to go all out. He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, just crashes the offensive glass. You know, that time I thought he did it with authority. Tremendous putback at a time when they really need it. His hang time on the rim puts a sweet cherry on top, B.A. It's a close game, and those displays of explosiveness can jumpstart a team. And can put the other team on its heels. We'll see how it plays out. Los Angeles has gone just one of six from distance during the second quarter. And it's Henry missing. That's the play they want him to start making. They want to be able to trust him. Outside for Russell. Pass to Collins. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Russell, that's good. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? If they take their time, this will be the final possession of the quarter. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. None drives in. 
Up and over Russell. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. The T-Wolves on top. They're up by one. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Carl, you were able to build the lead, but what's the key to maintaining it or even increasing it going forward? I mean, don't change what we're doing. So stay together, keep passing the ball, uh, keep playing great defense, and just keep making them think and make decisions, uh, especially the difficult ones. Consistency is a beautiful thing. Thanks, Carl. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Tremendous first half. Glad to have you back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. It was a closely contested first quarter for Minnesota. And having been behind by as many as eight, they clawed their way back. And so far, they're out in front, but not by much as we head into the half. And, uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Timberwolves? I like what they've done on the run. Boxing out, reacting quickly, playing with an aggressive attitude. They set a physical tone, but now everyone gets a chance to recalibrate. We'll see if this rebounding dominance can extend. And Shaq, what do you think about the Lakers? Well, I'll tell you what I saw in the first half, Ernie. Three things. Soft defense, not enough pressure, but they can still win this game. They need to ramp it up. Was that two or three? Doesn't matter. You understand, Ernie. And that's a wrap for our halftime show, the third quarter. Just about to get started. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. How about Bradley Beal having a dominant impact in this game? Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. And so in the game for the Lakers, we've got Mikhail Bridges, Bradley Beal's out there with Anthony Davis, and it's Henry in at the power forward position. And I tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. DA and Anthony Davis, you got a big man who can give you 28 a game and contend for defensive player of the year. Enough said. Bagley. Yep, count it. And the Timberwolves lead by one. Six lead changes in a game that has a lot of character. Yeah, both sides stepping up and making big plays. Beal, the pass to Davis. And finished Anthony off by Davis. Davis. Slick feed by Beal, taking advantage of the hole in the defense to set up a wide open man. And Davis standing 6'10 with a 7'6 wingspan. His sphere of influence, let's call it, is gigantic. B.A., I love that phrase, sphere of influence, and that's exactly what A.D. has. Multiple first-time all-defense selections, and rightfully so. This guy gets it done at both ends. Got to give him credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. Exactly. I mean, when you're running neck-to-neck, -neck, those kinds of mistakes tip the scales. A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Their first missed after hitting three straight shots, but I like their aggressiveness coming out of the half. Edwards can't hit. The Lakers have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Beal's shot is off. The Timberwolves have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Pass to Bailey. Out to the wing. Here's Bagley. It's hauled in by Beal. Beal's got four rebounds now. Here's Peterson. Covered by Towns. Here's Henry. Here's Bridges. And it's Bagley with a rebound. Bagley's got his fifth rebound in this one. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. It's clearly been their edge, and in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. Down low. 
That one's good. He's now 8 for 13. Incredible game. This lead has been exchanged eight times. Tremendous show of will and resilience on both sides. Timeout called the Lakers. He recognized his players were fatigued and needed time to catch their breath. And the Lakers making a change here. Ninth in shooting percentage, 12th in scoring, and you like what they've done on the perimeter. Their spacing, ball movement, it's been a strong suit of theirs. And that field goal percentage stat tells you something about this team's offense. They aren't one to rush things or take ugly shots. They wait for those great looks to open up. Pass to Davis. Over Towns. Oh, it's blocked by Towns! You know, one thing they can count on from Towns on the defensive end is block shots. He does not like to give up a clean look. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Bridges outside. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Yep, that one goes. Bridges has gotten his first basket of the night. The defense couldn't collapse out, quickly enough. And Minnesota calls time here. They've been committing a lot of turnovers, and I imagine that's exactly what they're talking about right now. They need to tighten it up. And over the last 10 games, here's a look at the teams that have been putting up the most points. Fifth best, Minnesota. This team has been on an absolute tear offensively. It seems like they're able to find a shot every trip down. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Pass to Bailey. Now Bagley, stolen by Bridges. Here's Henry. He got a piece of it. Here's Bailey. Oh, there's the alley. Oh, the big finish by Bagley. A beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch, great flush. Well, I tell you what, that's the play we'll remember if they can put together a little surge to break this game open. Pass to Davis. That one's good. Seven for 10 now. Creating separation using the bounce. That's a skill that AD's developed over the years. Here's Bailey. Knock loose. Outside Davis. He's now 8 for 11 after that made shot. AD doing what he does. 24-7 stuffing that stat sheet. Pass to Towns. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Give him 20. They're playing great team basketball. It's good movement and sharp, crisp passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last 10 points have all come off assists. No dice from nine feet. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Here's Peterson. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Here's Davis. Doesn't go for him. Good work defensively by Towns. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Yeah, he was one step late that time. And the Lakers making a change here. Hunter's checked in. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. The ball's knocked loose. Here's Davis. And Davis slams it home. 
here in the second half. This game still nip and tuck. <laughs> Just an insane amount of lead changes. The fans are getting their money's worth. Shot is good by Edwards. Composed and cool effort from Edwards inside. Not rushing himself or forcing a bad shot. Taking what's available. Here's Peterson. Pass to Davis. Over Towns. Davis can't hit. The Timberwolves have gone 7 of 10 here in the second half. Here's Edwards. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. Strong pass there to set up the basket. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Davis, the pass to Hunter. Drives to the hoop. Good work defensively by Towns. Ooh, I think he wants that one back. I mean, he knows he's capable of better. To the middle. And it's Towns with the power finish. Towns showing you the quickness and athleticism there. Getting off the floor to throw it down. Launches a three. Knocks down the long J. He made the most of that opening. Teaching the defense a lesson. And it's out of bounds to Minnesota. Russell against none. There's the triple. And Russell with the three. Russell's got 19 points. And you know, having more of a set shot motion than some other players, Russell calmly knocking it down. Back to Richardson. Inside. Here's Davis. And that one's good. Give him 20. And he's single-handedly trying to keep them alive. Terrific scoring quarter. Will it be enough, though? Outside Russell. Pass to Towns. Shoots over Davis. And that one's long. The Lakers trail. Hunter passes to Nunn. To the paint. Here's Davis. And he makes it on the layup. Davis has got 14 points here in the second half. Scoring well this quarter. Picking up steam as he goes. To the middle. Towns. Ooh, coming through again. Shooting five for seven now. Well, that time Towns showing you that he has the physicality to beat the contact. The defense has to do a lot more than that to stop him. Here's Davis. Back to none. Shot clock at six. High arcing shot. And the layup is good. Nunn's got six. And you look at how they've come out in the second half. It's almost like night and day. No question about it. I mean, these teams are really battling hard now. Knocks down the triple. Their long-range shooting since halftime has been as strong as you could hope for. And now's the time for them to step on the gas pedal. Don't let up. Keep letting it fly from deep and build that lead. Play through the finish line, not to it. Keep the pressure on. Pass to Russell. Double team on Towns. It's stolen by Hunter. Outside none. Hunter with the ball. Over Towns. And it comes off the front of the rim. Wiggins, left side. Pass to Towns. Double team on Towns. Wiggins outside. Five to shoot. And here's Wagner. This is the fadeaway. A minute 22 left to play in the third. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Yeah, really left him no choice there. I mean, he had to foul and keep him from converting the easy bucket. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Minnesota. They haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game. They've been the aggressors. They've consistently drilled the mid-range jumper tonight as well, which has forced the D to come out on them.
First free throw is good. Bagley's checked in for Wagner. Bradley Beal, he's checked in for the Lakers. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Pass to Bagley. Over Hunter. Bagley, no good. Los Angeles has gone just one of three from deep since the break. To the inside. And Beal gets it to go on the assist by Davis. Beal's got 31. Anthony Davis, clearly a team first guy. He's got special talent, but he's not afraid to share the ball either. Minnesota has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Russell to pass to Bagley. Back to Russell. Beyond the arc. No good on the shot. And Los Angeles the other way now. Beal the pass to Nunn. Back to Beal for the lead. And another three for the Lakers. Boy, he's demanding the ball. He wants it, and he's coming through. I mean, you can see why his teammates trust him down the stretch, guys. Russell against Davis. Wiggins outside. Outside Thibel. To end the run. Here's Bagley. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. Bagley's got six here in the quarter. Beal from outside. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Beal. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. Lakers ahead. They lead by one. And don't go away. We'll be back in a few moments. It'll be the fourth quarter of basketball coming up next. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When he's running the show, he makes sweet highlight reel plays night in and night out. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. They've got D'Angelo Russell. Marvin Bagley is out there with Matisse Thibel. And it's Wiggins in at the four. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. The Lakers in the lead. Here's Hunter. Softly drops in the floater. Showing off with the floater game. Not a shot you can swat. And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting the rock at 58%. Check by Davis. And he drives in. The Lakers with a rebound. Beal's got five rebounds in the game. Hunter on the wing. Hounded by Wiggins. Outside Hunter. Six to shoot. Shoots over Thibel. Hunter can't get it to go. He hasn't helped the cause with his shooting, but his teammates have had his back. From nine feet out, the rebound by Nunn. Nunn's got six rebounds in the game. Down low. Stolen by Russell. Outside Thibel. From ten feet away. Rebound, the Lakers. Hunter's got four rebounds now. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Nunn finds Hunter. And here's Beal, guarded by Russell. Davis against Bagley. Davis can't hit. For Minnesota, they've got none of their shots to go in this final quarter. 0 for 4. 
Marked it down low that three. time. Got hit with the three-second call. Tough one. In a game where every possession is valuable, turnovers can make the difference. Carl Anthony Towns has checked in for the Timberwolves. The Lakers have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Pass to Hunter. Here's Peterson. Here's Davis. Covered by Towns. Davis, the pass to Beal. Drops in the layup for two. Beal's got 36 points. And just putting the moves to work right there. I mean, Beal manages to get his shot in spite of the contact. Bagley passes to Russell. Tries to snap the cold streak. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. And it just forces the defense to pay more attention to him, guys, which we know can open up things for others. Fourth quarter keeps moving along. Three minutes gone by now. The rebound by Henry. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Russell up top. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. Hey, <laughs> nice work attracting the foul from deep. He'll shoot three. You have to avoid fouls like that. As a defender, challenge the three-point shooter, but run by him, not into him. And he's good on the first of three. Both teams will make substitutions. And he sinks the second. And he makes all three. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Pass to Davis. And he can't get that one. Good work defensively by Towns. Here's Bailey. To tie it up. It's hauled in by Beal. For Los Angeles, they've got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Bridges with it. Here's Peterson. Pass to Beal. Let's it go. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Bagley's got nine rebounds now. Towns passes to Edwards. Now here's Towns. Outside Bagley. Ooh, and once again, off the mark by Minnesota. And the Lakers shooting about 43% since the fourth quarter began. Pass to Peterson. Here's Henry. Outside Davis. Here's Beal. And there's the drive. Here's Henry. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Those are free points you're giving away. you got to work harder on the glass. They swipe it. To the inside, Davis. Yep, that one goes. Davis has got 18 points in just the second half. 
All right, let's take a look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers. Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ball game. I'll tell you something else. The points they've scored on the fast break tonight have been a major factor. Here's Peterson. And it's Bagley with the rebound. Bagley's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him trying to shut the door on this one. And the layup falls. That gives him a double-double. Encouraging signs for him after starting the game poorly. He's picked it up here in the second half. Time called here. The Lakers decide to talk it over. And as we head down the stretch, these players are focused on absorbing their coach's game plan and also drinking some Gatorade so their bodies will be well hydrated for the minutes ahead. And now let's present our New Balance Player of the Game. Can you say vintage? <laughs> wow, this was a vintage performance. I mean, so much of the game is about the three ball today, but his focus was going hard into the paint and doing damage from inside. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Frank Vogel told the team earlier. He told his squad to pour on the gas, saying, quote, we hold the lead. Let's keep growing it. Be aggressive. This is no time to let up. And Allie, thanks. Pass to Bridges. Beal outside. Here's Peterson. The three is up. Ooh, poked away. Still searching for his first bucket. You wonder how far ahead they'd be if he was playing anywhere near his full potential. The Lakers in the lead. And here's Bridges. And it's Bridges with the jam. Just magnificent. I mean, he punishes the D for a lackluster effort. They look a little disorganized there. The result is an emphatic jam. Guys, there has to be better rim protection than that, though. Not very good. Takes it inside. And he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. And it just forces the defense to pay more attention to him, guys, which we know can open up things for others. Davis finds Beal. Here's Peterson. Three-pointer. Gets the three to fall. Too much space on the perimeter. There needs to be a little more energy from the defense. Pass to Bagley. Oh, that's going to be too, many, too steps. many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. Well, guys, if you want to know why the score is what it is, look at their turnovers this quarter. That's been the culprit, the turnovers. I mean, T.O.'s, those kinds of mistakes have really kind of drained their confidence to this point. Now Beal. And then Beal with the dunk. One of the most desired trade targets in the league. Seemingly every year, Beal is just a baller. Pass to Bailey. Yet another steal from him. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. You gotta love it. Here's Henry. Here's Davis. Shot from the low post is good. And it's an 11-point Laker lead. Once AD gets the ball inside, he's about there. And a little timeout, power timeout. takes care of the rest. Timeout called the Timberwolves. Hey, it's been quite a game for Bradley Beal. He can't miss from deep. The defense has to regroup here, and I think they've got to change things up because he's locked in from behind the arc. And the Timberwolves with possession here. Checked by Davis. On target from range. 28 points for him. 
scoring all he can so far, but they still find themselves trailing. Pass to Peterson. Beal outside. Now Bridges. Outside Davis. Clock at six. And there's Bridges. That's good. On the assist by Davis. Davis has got five assists tonight. Poke loose. Stolen by Davis. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Anthony Edwards. That's his first foul of the game. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. Yeah, but he was late to get there, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. Russell's checked in for the Timberwolves. Pass to Davis. Here's Peterson. Just four to shoot. Three-pointer. Beal. And it's rebounded by Carl Anthony Towns. Towns has got eight rebounds in the game. Here's Bailey. Hounded by Beal. Bailey shot is off. Grant wouldn't be a bad idea here to slow it down. Yeah, the coach is definitely looking for patience and execution. Pass to Beal. Here's Henry. Inside, out to Bridges. Stolen by Russell. Downs passes to Russell. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And here's Edwards outside. Peterson with a rebound. So it's the Lakers now. Beal outside. Bridges outside. And he's going for the lob! They really came in with the right mindset today. I can guarantee you their flight home will be filled with some smiles. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exits. Russell, the pass to Edwards. Outside Bagley. Pass to Russell. Six on the shot clock. There's the three. The Lakers with a rebound. Beal with it. And so it's the Lakers easily grabbing this one. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Anthony, it was a great team victory tonight. What satisfied you most about this win? Oh, we just play hard. You know, we just play for each other. The ball was moving, it wasn't sticking. And, you know, God made the right plays. You know, and that's what we've been doing all night, all season. And you know, I'm just glad we came out with the win. Selfless basketball is a beautiful thing, guys. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Clark Kellogg, this is Brian Anderson thanking you all for tuning in tonight. We'll see you next time.